Well, another day. I'm going to try to get it as far as I can today. Um, I've got her arm, um, her hand, I need to do. I'm trying to think what else I need to do. Work on his hat. I'm just uh, going to be working on those projects today, and uh, we'll see how far I get. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm going to work on his arm first. Uh, it wasn't what I said I was going to do today, but I was just uh, forgetting that I had to work on his arm. Now, I went on a movie that I uh, saw online. You can watch it on uh, YouTube for a price, of course. And it's a great movie for... Uh, reference of a, what a wagon train was like. It doesn't pull any punches. It's not a very fast-moving movie. It's, it's kind of like you're on that wagon train trip with the uh, pioneers and they're looking for water and the trapper guide that is leading him well he isn't much help but uh, if you want to see what people went through back then it's a really good movie but like I said it's it's not a uh, movie with William Holden or or some other great actor these are all people that you uh, probably never even saw in a movie before, but it's a good movie. It's called Meek's Cutoff, and uh, it was made in 2010, I think. But anyway, it's on YouTube, like I said. But I got some good uh, snapshots from the uh, video and uh, of people wearing clothes that they would have wore back in the 1860s or 70s and it's going to help me with the uh, wrinkles of the uh, shirt that uh, this gentleman is wearing and also with the sleeves that the woman is wearing. There's a structure to uh, the wrinkles of a shirt or the wrinkles of a dress or a robe and uh, it takes a little bit of practice, observation and uh, learning how to do it. Having a photograph that I can work from really helps sorry about the uh, he the heater in my studio it makes a lot of noise but it got down to minus five last night and it's cold today so it's uh, time for the heater okay I'm going to take a little break here from sculpting on this uh, clay to tell you about my nine instructional videos that I've got on Vimo, Vimeo, Vimo, whatever it's called or pronounced. Um, I sell them singly or I sell them all at one time. And if I sell all nine of them to you, you get three extra instructional videos that aren't listed. Um, I've been doing this for well over 50 years now. And if you'd like to uh, pick up on some of that experience, uh, 
I've got that in those videos. Um, please, uh, if you wish to learn a little bit more about sculpting, take a look at the uh, information, uh, the link down below this video. It'll take you to a review of my nine instructional videos. And at the end of each video, uh, you'll also see a uh, instructions on how to order one or more of my videos. So anyway, that's my promotion for now, and let's get back to uh, working on this clay without dropping any tools. Now, no matter what the uh, photograph tells me, I still have to be using a little bit of artistic license in what I'm doing. And so, if I see a way of making it look uh, a little more ragged or a little more worn, I'm going to do that. I'm putting little micro wrinkles in his shirt because that would happen especially around the uh, armpit area and where the uh, arm bends. The key is to make it look like something that it isn't. And uh, that's what comes with time as far as experience. And learning to do little hacks here and there. These little silicone tools that I made really help. Now, I made the suspenders originally out of super sculpty, so they're right real hard and they aren't easily ruined by my pressing against them, which is the reason why I did them out of super sculpty. Right, I'm going to hit it with the Ronsonol lighter fluid and uh, sort of get rid of all the little nodules and the uh, imperfections. This really brings out the uh, wrinkles in the uh, shirt, I think. Now, I'll have to tip him up so I can get the underneath the arm because I can't see that right now, but I'll do that to uh, that's one of the last things I do. Yeah, I gotta do some micro uh, wrinkles in the back like I did in here in the front. <coughs> All right, that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.